Am I the asshole? For letting my boyfriend's cat outside? My boyfriend of a year owns his own place and has a cat, Libby. She's two years old and has always gone outside. He is stopping that as he said she injured her paw quite badly and had scratches on her after another cat attacked her. He said a few of his neighbors have become concerned recently as their cats have also become injured. She was quite poorly and it cost him a lot in vet fees. He said that he gets it's a change for Libby as she has been meowing at the door to be let out but that it's for her health and safety and he said he's planning on building some outside open air cage thing so she's still outside but concealed in it. I was there the other night and Libby was meowing at the back door. I said that it wouldn't hurt to let her out as she was very loud. He says he just ignores her for 10 minutes and she's fine and told me not to let her out. She seemed really insistent so I let her out. BF was none the wiser but after a while he noticed how quiet his house was and started to look for Libby as she normally cuddles him after not being let out. He started freaking out when he couldn't find her and I told her I let her out. He got really angry and asked why the fuck would you do that when I told you I don't want my cat outside? He started saying I'm rude, insensitive and horrible for what I did. Libby came back after like an hour. She was fine. My BF kicked me out and has been cold to me since. He says that he doesn't trust me in his house anymore or near his cat. She's a really sweet girl and I love her and I don't think I did anything wrong. I think he's being really paranoid just cause she got hurt once. I'm trying to make him see my POV that he's being too overprotective and he says I'm an R and that he needs some space from me. You're the asshole. He told you to not let his cat out. So as an idea, maybe do not let his cat get out. You're the asshole. If you want to know why, my BF kicked me out and has been cold to me since. He says that he doesn't trust me in his house anymore or near his cat. Um. Yeah. You have clearly demonstrated that you can't be trusted in his house or near his cat. Why bother posting when from just reading your comments, you won't view it any different. But to on that alone. You're the asshole. You completely ignored your boyfriend's request to not let the cat out. He has decided it's in her best interest for her not to go outside anymore as he's worried she will get hurt again, or even worse. You ignored his feelings and did what you wanted to anyway. She is not your cat and it's not up to you if she goes out or not. If something had happened to her while she was out your boyfriend would not forgive you. I don't understand why you would let her out. You have just undone all the hard work he's done to keep her inside. It's for her safety, the safety of the neighbor's cats as well as wildlife. If someone makes such a decision, don't undermine them. You're the asshole. Oh you're the asshole. You let her out after BF explicitly told you not to. Why should he trust you? What if the cat had come back hurt again, would you have paid the bills? You're the asshole it's not hard to have basic respect towards other people's rules for their pets. She's not yours and hopefully coming from a cat owner who had to do the exact same thing you bf did he will break up with you. What if that time you let her out was the one where she was badly injured or infected with five or feline leukemia? You don't get to make those decisions for his cat, even less when you would not be the one paying or taking responsibility for it. Such a selfish, self-centered, ignorant R. You're the asshole. Not your cat, not your home, and not your vet bills to pay if the cat had gotten injured. I would break up with you. You're the asshole. It does not matter that she was fine in the end, or if your personal judgment call is that it wasn't a big deal. You deliberately disrespected and disregarded a direct request that he made not to let his cat out. You're the asshole. As someone whose cat was let out despite my wishes to keep him in and then subsequently had to bury my boy the next day, you're a massively inconsiderate person. You were expressly asked not to do something that could have potentially endangered a pet that is very much loved. And you decided to willfully ignore the extremely reasonable request. I suggest you apologize and accept that your own heartlessness cost you a relationship. You're the asshole, he can't trust you. You're the asshole. 
Not your place. Not your cat. He specifically told you not to. You disrespected him in his own home, and you put Libby in danger. She's already been injured, and clearly some aggressive animal is in the area. Learn to respect boundaries and think of others. Info Why are you crowdsourcing judgment on your actions if you refuse to accept said judgment? Easy you're the asshole. It's not your cat and not your decision. If he says she can't go outside then you suck for going against his wishes. You're the asshole. Your boyfriend is transition his cat to being an inside cat she's going to be frustrated, but it's still a smart decision. And even if it wasn't, what you think doesn't matter it doesn't hurt Libby and it's his cat. He makes all the rules, the end. You're the asshole. Boyfriend didn't want his cat outside and you let her out because she wanted to be outside? She's a cat. Not a grown woman like you. Listen to the grown man and respect his wishes. Are you twelve? You're the asshole. In what world would you think it was okay to put someone else cat outside when they said not to? You're the asshole. I dump you tbh. You're the asshole. You think your boyfriend is paranoid no, he made a safe decision for his cat. Domesticated cats have no business outside. They have so many natural and unnatural enemies outside his cat already made the experience. It would be cruel to let the cat experience this again. Don't be surprised if this is the end of the relationship. You're the asshole. The cat isn't yours. He has an obligation to take care of his cat and he specifically said he doesn't want the cat outside. So the cat stays inside. Period. Not to mention, cats shouldn't be out anyway. You're the asshole. The cat is not your pet. You clearly do not care for or even respect your boyfriend. You're the asshole. He's right he can't trust you. You're the asshole. His cat. You mentioned the meowing. He told you not to let her out. You did what you wanted to do anyway. Of course he no longer trusts you. She seemed really insistent so I let her out. This quote where you think an insistent cat should be the one to decide what's safe rather than your boyfriend, the cat's owner who recently aided her through her injuries from an as yet unknown neighborhood source, is the icing on the archaic. Genuine question, why did you bother posting here? It's clear you have no interest in even entertaining the idea that you're in the wrong and would just rather argue with everyone. You are very clearly you're the asshole. Consider yourself lucky he's being cold to you because if I was him I'd never have spoken to you again. The fact that you think you did nothing wrong is horrifying. You're the asshole. He was training the cat to stay inside. He told you not to let his cat out, and you decided you knew better. Jesus, OP your comments are so fucking disgusting and you to seem to work on one brain cell. You're the asshole for being such a insensitive person. You're the arsehole his cat, his house, his rules. He had a clear, reasonable rule, you're violated it. It's cute that you think you're still dating. You're the arsehole, 